Hey there folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3 on the Mysterious JG. So, we're trying to save the Earth from the Reapers, and it really ain't going that good. Um, we completed, with the help of our squad mates, our only two human choices in this game, James and Ash. And alternately, had Ash died, we could have gone with, you know, in the first game, we could have gone with uh, James and Kaiden. And you know, if uh, Mass Effect 1 Shepard chooses to romance Liara, or just to concentrate on saving the universe and not worry too much about getting it on, and um, Kaiden rather than Ashley survives, and you have male Shepard, you could totally have like the, uh, the like the uh, the manly man human squad of Shepard, James, and Kaiden saving the world at the uh, at the end of all this. But that's not what we've got. Um, the only things I can say in my favor as far as already having a critical mission failure on this is that I am back to playing on Insanity difficulty, and I did outlast uh, James. <laughs> that's not really something to brag about. It's a team effort. But I've got a bad feeling about this and how many tries it might take to succeed. Um, we are meant to survive. So if it's All like... Come in. We need extraction. So if it's, uh, if it's time limit based, we, uh, they just want to, hold on, I saw it selling, I suddenly got this really annoying itch on my chin. But if it's like, if this is going to be based on defeating a certain number of enemies, then I need to kill this reaper too. Or, Banshee too sweet. If it's just about surviving, this we need to Commander consider Any if there's an advantage to just running away for this thing. Right but for now, I'm thinking our best bet is to take it out fast because it's the biggest threat. another banshee out there somewhere. Either that or that thing's death screams are taking a while to process through. I uh, thought we'd revive James. Okay, well, this is already going a lot better than last time. Did uh, you guys keep a second banshee occupied? I just haven't noticed it out yet. Yeah, I mean cannibals. As long as you, as long as you've got a little range on them, so they're not just chucking in grenades by the dozen, I can fight them all day. If you've got enough range, you can, yeah, you can keep them a little back. Although, it's, you know, not gonna be pretty if we run out of ammo. Oh, we're good. We took out the one uh, real threat. I got an abuse of power, so I'm good. Uh, yeah, no, I got it. There you go. I feel like a bit of a chump for having failed at the end of last video, actually. No, we want to come too. We don't like being with the Reapers either. Get us I out of here, Got the best shot I've had in a long okay. time at one of their faces to I'm see where they really are expatriates. That you are, Commander. Hey, buddy. What up, gangster? Long time no see, former counselor. Look it out, bro. You. And you're a sight for sore eyes. How we looking? Now that the heavy air defense is dealt with, you're a sight for sore eyes, Shepard. You're so I'm a good land, and not a moment too soon. What's left? Why do you suddenly have a character a name, Coates? But the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's going to be up to Hammer to take up the fight. Hmm. I know time of the, is of the essence, sir, but I feel like I need to go to the left on this dialogue tree just in case there's Paragon dialogue to stop you from turning into a Reaper or indoctrinated or whatever. That's not actually going to happen, folks. I'm just being silly. It must have been brutal here, cut off from the rest of the Alliance. 
That's right, brutal. It's been touch and brutal. go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. Well, London is a major center. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers mm. like Major Coase, Many and knowing you bring us help, we held on. Many Bothans gave their lives so that you could have this little dialogue scene, Shepard. Without you and your resistance, we'd be dead in the water. Now yeah, we're dead in the air. The Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Yeah, whatever. Let's Can not start we? handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started. And Hammer better be ready for it. Don't worry, sir. It's Hammer time. They didn't start out together. But they're ready to stand side by side and win this war. Good. So Hammer is the collective name of take. all species that we've gotten to side we'll with. We'll get us. it done, Anderson. Do, 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 do. I, I don't care who you are. That's funny. Get her done. The entire what was that little look about there? Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. We should have banded together to kick the shit out of the Asari. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving Shepard, but nobody could have accomplished what you've done. Fem Shep could have. Good to be back home. She would have done it with more style too, to that's tell you the, the truth. FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. What do you mean that's the FOB? You're staring at the inside wall of the shuttle. Crazy. We're like a third of the way, maybe halfway through the combat portion of this mission. There's going to be a lot of dialogue at the end of this, as you would probably imagine the final mission of Mass Effect 3. Their uniforms, I'm sorry, if it is a bit slowly Oh, Rachni. Infested Rachni. It's kind of crazy you think infested Rachni, considering how similar they are to the Zerg and various other insectoid species from sci-fi games who tend to, you know, infest others, infect others, etc. As opposed to being infested with themselves. So in a way, we've got this little slice of heaven here in the middle of London that we hang out at. The Reapers have built a tunnel to the Citadel, which they must protect at all costs. And, and they put it right next to our main resistance base. Today. What do you know? Looks like we've still got groups coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Hmm. Careful with that gun. You're pointing it right at them. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. But, uh, you know, do all the dialogue that you want before that. He's now. right. I expected to see more of Hammer here by now. We're all waiting for the Hammer to fall. A lot of them won't be making it. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. Ash, don't you dare say anything. Apparently I selected James first so he gets all the dialogue. The fighting here's been some of the worst on the planet. Cool, blimey. It's bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. We've got to find the observatory. That'll give us the riches we need. And then, maybe... I'll be convinced to aid the Templars against I mean, the assassins against the Templar. Addy, I'm just a soldier like them. Yeah, well, shut you up, might Shepard. See yourself you like saved that, the universe like eight don't. times. Stop like it or not, with the Commander, fake modesty. You're a hero to these men and women. And don't some of the uh, hermaphrodites. That can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. I better go, lest people think I'm a real character of import. So, like, if you needed the Paragon points at this point, you got them. Do I get to save? Why don't I get to save? That's odd. But yeah, we got a little mini uh, open world area here. No shopping to be done. A bunch of random pointless terminals that you can't actually interact with, act with. But this, folks, is the prelude to the very last combat mission. Because the very, very end of the game is us pushing towards... I don't know if we can see it from where we are. Actually craning... Yeah, I think you actually can see it over there. That, like, swirling mass of clouds. 
if we could angle things just a bit differently. Oh, you can kind of see it there. There's that beam leading towards the sky. Yeah, that's where the win button is. If we go over there, we can beam up to the Citadel and everything is great. I shouldn't really be talking about it because, you know... And I, I guess... Uh, I'm not... I'm gonna give away too much. I mean, once we get there, in theory, we gotta do stuff on the Citadel and activate the Crucible. But there's gonna come a point where a button is pressed and we win the game. And this is our, kind of the respite before the final big storm. Um... And I had real split feelings the first time I played through this because you really... I wanted to see everything, but kind of also tempted to hurry up and get on with winning the, the game. Eddie, soldier. But yeah, in fact, um, there is a lot of, you know, optional flavor dialogue that you can get in this little base because they're pulling out at all the stops to make it feel like this is the last dramatic showdown. So there's Reapers presumably attacking from this direction, which is why it's barricaded, but yeah. I was trying desperately to see it from that building, but this is this is it. We get there. We well, we pretty much that's where you gotta go to win the game. That beam is, pre is presumably connected to the citadel. We got James here? Oh there you go. Talk to James. Hey Commander. What? what? No loco? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry, loco. You okay? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... Uh, suddenly I don't feel like fighting or dying. We'll rebuild. And besides, you gotta, like, get all in 70 now that you got that fact out, right? I know it's hard to see. But this is only temporary. Someday the British Empire will rule you again. This thing. Stay focused. Don't let them take your will to fight. I know. I know. You're right. So, I guess this is it, no? I guess this one is it, push, yes. One last fight. Not necessarily our last. So it's been an honor it. serving with you, Shepard. Yep. And that's kind of the flavor that these are going to have, folks. Uh, we may have more than one video's worth of these. Shepard is basically going to encounter almost everyone that he's fought with throughout the series who's still alive. And we're going to have a series of everyone saying goodbye just in case. And this is the kind of game where, you know, if you just jumped into Mass Effect 3 without playing the previous games in the series... It feels very... It would probably feel very self-indulgent. But, you know, three fairly solid, lengthy games in, and uh, it feels pretty earned. You're a good man, and a terrific soldier. <laughs> He's gonna hand buzzer her. Huh? Thanks. Whatever happens the out there today, man. I know you'll make me proud. That means a lot to me, sir. Hey, good luck out there, loco. I know you'll make me proud. Even though you died before even my wussy long-range self had a chance to die when we got ambushed at short range at the end of the last video. So yeah, he's here in person, so we talk to him in person, but there's a whole series of ones that you do by vid phone. It's kind of crazy. And I'm like desperately afraid of missing stuff. I do remember now, you couldn't save here, and, and it was driving me nuts. <gasps> I kept wanting to save in case I accidentally triggered the next bit of combat and couldn't come back and, you know, missed the chance for a big heart-to-heart -heart with, like, you know, Kasumi or some shit. said, stick your head between your knees and kiss your ass, good boy. Hey, it's, uh, it's like the TARDIS, except that it's not. Oh, fun. 
Yeah, you know, I, I wanted to say, hey, it's Danger Mouse's house, but he lived in a post box, of course, and his TARDIS looks like a police box. A telephone box? Alright, Ash, um... Yeah, we, we were, we had fun together. I'm glad you've moved on. And there's a part of me that kind of misses the old Ash outfit where she had, like, fairly realistic hair for, like, her hair actually was based on what an actual female marine, how she would be expected to wear her hair. And, uh, and her uniform kind of looked like functioning armor that a woman's body could fit in that was not designed to be sexy. So there's a part of me that's sad that now she dresses like this. There's a part of me that doesn't mind as well. But, uh, yeah, Ash, before I can creep anyone out even further, let's, let's talk. Shepard? How are you holding up? Can't you Restless. call me Skipper? Everything depends on this. Think we have a chance? There's always hope. That's how we got this far. Is you gonna mention you God or poetry or something? Here. I guess, uh, I guess the fans didn't like that when you did that in the first game, so they kind of dropped it in this one. Yeah, I am the reason we're here on our time. Pretty cool. I've had people like you picking me up and dusting me off when I stumbled. I've lost count of all the times you've saved me. Almost and how as times many I've times saved the you saved me, hero man. It always Please comes down to this. Feels like a thousand years since we met on Eden Prime. So much has happened. I remember that when you failed your unit, they all died. How we got here. You failed. This. You're a survivor, Ash. Always were. I hope you're right. I'm right. You're a fine soldier. A specter. We're lucky to have you. Now, mention God Thanks, so I know that you're you. Okay. Call me Skipper, damn it. One more hill to take, Lieutenant Commander. You ready? I got promoted, didn't I? Aye, aye, Captain. I'm ready. And that's it for Ash, so... I would imagine, had she been a romance interest, there would have been more dialogue, but that's fine. Don't know if we'll be meeting Tally in person. Uh, might have to say goodbye over the phone, as it were. Yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? And uh, here we go. We get to talk to all of our Mass Effect 2 squad mates. Yeah, this is basically the people that weren't... There was no particular reason that they would be here, so... I guess we'll start with Zaid and work our way around. We can actually start with Jack and work our way around. Jack. Certainly. I'll connect you now. I'll connect you now to the only Shepherd? known Jack in the universe. Shepard, is that you? Jack, how are you guys? Good Perfect. so far. Yeah. We're way south of your position. We saved some resistance fighters with We're actually support. in the middle of the English Channel. Bring a bit more firepower your way. I'll see you on the other side. I won't let you, you down, mean Shepard. The afterlife? Go kick some ass. You too. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Oh, no option of talking to her again, huh? She's already died, huh? Zaid Masani. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, I've always loved you. Almost thought you weren't going to make it, Shepard. Glad I was wrong. I guess they are here. You doing okay, Zaid? Yeah, yeah. Hope you've got one hell of a speech to get everyone moving. Don't worry, my smurf dialogue Looks will not like fail us. Might need it. Never seen anything like this. Hey, give me a little personal space, Paul it, it gets worse. No kidding. Just doesn't feel like a real ground war when your opponents are taller than goddamn skyscrapers. Yeah, it is kind of unfair. Still, no use talking about it. Ready to go when you are. Let's gut the bastards. Although technically not all of our opponents are taller than skyscrapers. I mean, you know. you <laughs> Luckily, we're not fighting like groups of five to six reapers at a time. It's still pretty much uh, cannibals and shit. Steve Cortez. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, I'm so Commander. sorry you accidentally you took the uh, heterosexual Glad I can say the same about again. you, Cortez. I've come too far to lose my pilot now. I gotta get a ride home, right? I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. Oh, if I've been on, flying man. my old trident, you things might have been You're not dead. That's pretty impressive. What matters is we took out that AA gun. The Arn Anderson Absolutely. gun? Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. That's the idea. 
Yep. It'll happen. Yep. 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 I'm just glad I could play a part. And Commander, you owe me twenty bucks. Thanks for making me believe again. If you hadn't, it helps to have reason to live again. Stay sharp, Cortez. Yes, sir. And the dog is sharp again, mommy. See? Is there someone else I can connect you to? Yeah, man, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel now. It's Kasumi. Kasumi Goto. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Kasumi Goto 10. Hey, Chef. You ready down there? I'm uh, in space, I guess. Depends on whether you got the crucible good to go. Oh, it's ready. No idea what it'll do exactly, but it's going to be big. And then I'm going to steal luck, it and Shepherd. take over the universe. If you live through it, drinks are on me. Well, that was... That was touching. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Sure glad we talked to her. Samara. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Think she'll say something stoic? I wondered if I'd see you again, Samara. And I didn't it's see past her time I joined your battle. Yeah, seriously. You why the fuck haven't you been helping? The monastery shepherd. Thank you for returning the favor. Only your actions will be remembered. You as a person will be forgotten well. easily. You will die Farewell. nameless. There's someone else I can connect you to? I've long suspected she was a Baraba. Grunt. Certainly. I'll connect no, you sir, I, I won't grunt. I will connect you to someone if you want to talk to them, though. About time you got here, Shepard. Didn't want to win this thing all by myself. You know what? You could. I wouldn't Good mind. Back in action, Grunt. Wouldn't miss it. Shepard. Yeah? Thanks for getting me out of that tank. No problem. Thanks sure, for helping Brent. me defeat elite it's been an honor. Um, Reaper here, forces Shepherd. in the simulator. Okay. Grunt out. Grunt out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Where the fuck are uh, Rex and Garrus and Tally? Well, presumably we'll have something different, you know, something more extensive with Tally. She's like the love of our life and shit. But, um, you know, I thought we'd get something with Rex. A hologram of Rex saying, hmm. And then you just go, hmm. And then you go, so long, Rex. And he goes, Shepard. And yeah, the uh, party DLC already had their fun with that. Jacob Taylor. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, that you? Jacob? Listen, I was hoping up. to pour some drinks on the Citadel, but apparently it's been Take taken over by the bike. Reapers. My kill counts through the roof. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. Oh my god, you don't talk it. about notches. There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. Spill some I'm drinks. Get, Get some, uh, retarded sex slaves. Yes, sir. Great. Shepherd out. <laughs> like father, like son. Think about it, won't you? Is there someone else I can connect you to? <laughs> no thanks. Fuck Miranda. Oh, come on, we gotta talk to Miranda. We gotta see some hollow titties before we can go into battle. Miranda lost. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Yeah, you know, this game brings out the Commander, immaturity that's always bubbling under my surface. You crashing this little party of yours. You Not at the all. wrong party to Feeling better? Much. I think I find it an excuse for us to see this hologram to from, like, butt can't be choosy at this point. angle. I'm glad you made it. Shepard. I, I wanted to say goodbye. Because I don't think you're going to survive. If we both come back from this at all, everything will be different. Sure, everything will change. But on our terms, we've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. Amanda, I understand. Whole life this isn't goodbye. You have to believe we're not done yet. Listening to you, I can believe it. So I better cut off communications. Good. And Miranda? Yes? Be careful. I promise. And you too, Shepard. Shockingly, they never chose to place the camera at an angle from which we would see the hologram. But I'm done. Yes, sir. There's no one I'd like to talk to again. By the way, I'm, why did that red ring appear around yes, you? Yes, Commander. Sudden? Is there someone you'd like to reach? I'm done. Yes, sir. Seriously, what is that? That's crazy. Uh, I still can't say. Well, I've got some credits to take with me into the afterlife, or possibly Mass Effect 4. Yeah, I wonder if they'll come up with some way that you can import your data to Mass Effect 4, even if it's not set in the same universe, just... 
Like in the way that in Mass Effect 1, if you got lots of money, you started with more money in Mass Effect 2. For that sort of thing. Probably not. At some point, they have to give themselves a clean slate to start over. I mean, it becomes impossible to write if they're constantly beholden to making multiple paths open depending on decisions the player character made. Oh, maybe Garrus is in here. I want here. you to coordinate with the uh -huh. Alliance. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. The Krogan don't want to share supplies. That's just Rex Langhart again. Tell him I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> that ought to get him. He's a complete alcoholic. Hopeless. Hopeless. Primarch Victus. I didn't realize you were here. I'm not. I wanted to just return the favor in person. Though I'm sorry to see your world looks as bad as ours. Of course, our world always kind of sucked, but... I'm surprised you're not back on Palavin. This war will be won or lost today, here, on Earth. Dramatic Palavin. fist pound. It comes down to this moment, and history will record that the Turian hierarchy stood among the brave. As we all fell in defeat. This night, <laughs> of course, I'm lurking in the shadows. I know they can. That old sovereign business a few years ago he was the first to die. Now all his friends will too. Yeah, but it turns out he was really unpopular with the other Reapers, and in fact, killing all of his friends won't even put a dent in their numbers. All right, folks. Uh, gonna call out a video here when we come back. Um, I think we've got a few more uh, goodbyes to say before we go for the final push. I may have been wrong about you getting a chance to switch party members. We may have committed fully to uh, Ash and James, but it doesn't matter because I'm going with them the next time I get a chance to choose, if there is another chance to choose. And, um... Really not a whole lot to say. I, um... I, I'm uh, progressing a little faster through the end game than I realized part of it, again, being that I switched back to normal mode and then went through a whole plot mission before being like, oh shit, I switched to normal mode for that one Armax Arena battle. So the Cerberus stuff was just, just very easy uh, to zip through. But, um, you know, and we, I would have won, if there's any doubt. There probably would have been a, one or two critical mission failures along the way. The boss fight with Kai Lang may or may not have been a big pain in the ass on Insane, but I would have Insanity, but I would have put him on. But yeah, I, I kinda didn't plan a lot of deep stuff to say, which means you might be uh, stuck with one of those like random rambles I'll occasionally do at the end of a long LP, but I guess we'll see. But uh, we're getting pretty darn close to the end here, folks. So stick with me as we polish off the Mass Effect trilogy. Now the Mysterious JG, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.